just wanted to make a video but I don't really know about what because I've been wondering for like some a couple of days the topic of my next video but I just don't figure out every topic that I think about I think it's bad and wait a second um This one. Hmm. This should look pretty damn good. Not the best thing ever. It's fine. Just realized I was filming in 60p. I should be filming in 24 frames per second. And now I'm gonna check the exposure. Accurate. So yeah, I have no idea what to film about. And I just made that sequence that you just saw. I really liked it. I think. It's going to come out great. I didn't edit it yet, so I don't really know. I forced myself to film a lot of times in 24 frames per second because I usually shoot B-roll in slow motion, 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second. The downside of filming in 120 is because there's a 2.2 crop on the frame, so I just... I usually shoot 60 frames per second, sometimes 120, and today I tried to film mostly at 24 frames per second just to force my creativity I should get more of this and that made me think of living in the United States and living in Brazil because it's different since I moved back from the US I noticed some differences some positive sides that I didn't think I was going to see here but also some downsides that I was already expecting before moving well, and the positive side is mostly the school. I, I, I wasn't a very, <coughs> I wasn't a very good school in LA. But I mean, it was a public school, and here in Brazil, I mean, a private school. I think it's the third in all the state here of São Paulo, which is, I would say, it's the richest state. But I'm not sure. I know that the city that I live in is the most populated one. So I mean, I'm in one of the best schools of Brazil and it's a private school and the teachers are just excellent. I had good teachers, I had great teachers in the US, but here I have excellent teachers. And that makes a lot of difference. Um, the content you learn here is different. You learn much, much more about history, geography. There's much more of that than in the United States. I'm just talking about my specific case because you know, I haven't been to every single school in the United States. I haven't been to every single school in Brazil. I know that I'm in a very good school. I'm, I'm in like top three school in this state here. One of the best schools in Brazil and that's what I'm comparing it to. I'm just comparing my situation to what I used to have in the United States. It's not that schools in Brazil are better than in the United States. I'd say it isn't. I'd say in average schools in the United States are much better, especially public schools. But the downside is that I can't go to the beach and film a video. First, because there's no beach where I live in Sao Paulo. And second, because it's dangerous. I can get robbed, I can get assaulted in the streets. So I just, I'm gonna try and do so sometimes, maybe in the weekends. I don't know. Because if someone robs my camera, I won't have another one. I'll just have to use my phone. And I mean, I'm used to having a very good camera. And it's hard to downgrade. Not that my phone doesn't record high quality video, no. It does, but downgrading from an, from an expensive camera makes a lot of difference. And it's I, I suppose it would be hard. So since I don't have the money to buy a new camera, I don't risk using the one that I have right now in the streets. And this is the kind of video that I like the most to do, just going out, getting some shots. It's the best thing ever, but I just can't do it here. Uh, that's the thing I miss the most from the United States. I think it's security. I feel much safer there than I do here. And one of the positive sides of living in Brazil as well is having my family here. At least every month I see all my closest family members that live in the same city as I do because, you know, my family members from other cities, I don't see them as often as I see the ones that live in the same city as I do. 
what else? Yeah, and the school, it's also, it also has a negative side here, just because the amount of homework that I have here, the amount of things that I learn here is much greater than in the US. So that's a big difference. It's much harder, it's... I spend much more time in school than I used to in the past. Because also, in school in the United States used to be much easier, because here in Brazil I can't retake tests once I did them, once I took them, because like, if I get a C or a D on a test here, I can't retake them. Uh, that's my grade for that test, and if I want to, and if I want to get a good grade for that class, I need to, I need to get high grades on the next tests. And if there are no left tests, I'm screwed. While in the US, I could retake the test whenever I wanted. So that was the positive side also. When, but when I moved to the US, I thought it was gonna be the best thing ever. I was like, oh, the school's gonna be the best there. Because here in Brazil, we have this common sense that schools in the US are better because they are, but as I said, I'm in a very good school here, so that's not the case for me. I was like, oh, the school's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so safe. Um, what else? And I was like, this is gonna be the best life ever. And I think it takes, and it used to be one of my dreams and one of my father's dreams as well to live in the United States. And once we did, we realized it doesn't make that much of a difference. There are the positive sides, there are the negative sides, but it's overall the same thing. You know, I do the same things. I still play tennis, I still play the guitar, I still drink coffee, I still go to school, I still make videos, I still take photos. Yes, there's this limitation here of not being able to get out and make videos, yeah, true, but I keep making videos and I just got creative here making a little sequence that I'm not used to making. So overall, it's pretty much the same thing. If you like this video, make sure to leave that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already so you can watch my next videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh.